factorize four x square plus twenty five plus twenty x minus twenty five y square. Now, till now, when we were using the identities, of course, this is not a simple algebraic expression that can be solved using the factor method. Now, till now, whenever you, we were using the identity method, there we know that in a maximum case scenario, the maximum thing you had was what? It was basically a situation where you had a plus b whole square, a minus b whole square, and you had a square minus b square. So these are the three identities that I had. But if I see this particular factor has four entities. Instead of three numbers, they have four numbers. So as I told you earlier that, you know, you can also do factorization by grouping. What I need to see here is, can I group this in a manner that, you know, I can solve one part and then do the second. It's a very tedious task, but as you do more and more of problems, it becomes easy. So let us see the first three part. Now, if you see, there are two plus signs here, and therefore, this identity might be applicable here. So let us try to do that. 4x squared can be written as 2x whole square, plus 25 can be written as 5 squared, plus 20x. 20x can be written as what? It can be written as 2 into 2 into 5 into x. Right? Or it can be written as 2 into 2x into 5. This is what? This is nothing but a, b. This is b square. This is a square. So basically, this first equation becomes what? It can be written in this form of a plus b whole square is equal to this. The value of a and b being 2x plus 5 and so you can write this as 2x plus 5 whole square minus. What was the second part? It was this 25y square. Now 25y square can also be written as 5 into 5 into y square or 5 square into y square which can be 5y whole square. So I get 5y whole square here. Now if I look a little more carefully what do I get? I get this square minus this square which is what a square minus b square. Wherein in this revised equation a is equal to 2x plus 5 and b is equal to 5y. So if that be the factor, then I can use these two as the identity. So I can write this as 2x plus 5 plus 5y into 2x plus 5 minus 5y. So by doing this, I was able to simplify this expression and find out its non-reducible or irreducible factors.